Hello and welcome to another video. On today's video, I'm gonna show you 10 tips for your brand new Amazon Fire Stick that you might not know about. And you never know, number 10 might be the one that changes your life forever. So make sure you watch to the end and also look out for that bonus content as well. So let's get right on into the video. Find your favorite shows just using your voice on Netflix, YouTube, Spotify, or even the internet. Just use your remote and search for what you want. The Crown. The Apprentice. So you can search YouTube. Easy as that, or even the internet. Make gaming even better with the use of a gamepad. Connect your PS4 or Xbox controller to your Fire Stick, which makes gaming even better if you've got a gamepad. And if your gamepad is voice compatible, you can even search using the voice functionality on your gamepad. I'll use the PS4 controller as an example. What you have to do is go along to settings, and then go along to Remotes and Bluetooth Devices. Go down to Game Controllers. Add New Game Controller. And then you have to press the PS button and the Share button together. It'll come up as Wireless Controller. Then you just press your Select button. And there it is, connected. Sideload third-party apps onto your Fire Stick that aren't on the official Fire Stick App Store. Now, if you want a full guide how to do that, just look at the top right hand of your screen right now. And if you click on that, you'll find a full video on how to do that. Use your phone as a remote control. Yes, you can use your phone to control your Fire Stick, which is very, very handy, especially if you have to type in searches or put in addresses. How you do that? is you have to install it onto your phone first and it's readily available on the App Store whether that's Android or iOS. So what we do is we go into our App Store and we want to search for Fire TV Remote and we'll click on it and it's this one here. I've already installed it, that's why mine says open. So we just open it up and then it'll ask you to sign in and once you've signed into your account all your devices will be listed there so if i want to connect into this device that i'm using right now it's my second fire tv so all i do is click it and there we are i am totally now connected to my second fire tv and the beauty of this as well is it's got a keyboard Bluetooth headphones to listen to your favorite music or a TV show on your Fire Stick. You can use your wireless Bluetooth headphones to listen to your movies and TV shows. All you do is head along to settings, down and along to Bluetooth and remotes. Head down to other Bluetooth devices, add Bluetooth devices. And then it's just a case of using the usual method to pair up your Bluetooth headphones, whatever that may be. And then once it's found them, just click select. And there we go. It's as simple as that. You can mirror your phone screen onto your TV. Now this is excellent for showing off videos or photographs or even just showing an app that's on your phone that you want to see on the big TV. Now all you have to do is long press the house button and then you want to select mirroring. And then it's a case of going into your Android phone. Doesn't work on iPhones, unfortunately. I've got a Samsung S9, so all we do is swipe down with two fingers, and then we're looking for Smart View. Now this might be cast, it might be screen mirroring, it's something like that that you're looking for on your particular phone. It takes a few seconds, but there we are. As I say, this is very, very handy if you're wanting to show off some photographs, or indeed, what you're looking at right now. Hello there. And to exit, it's just a case of clicking on any button on your remote control. How to close an app that is misbehaving. Now, a popular misconception is that all the apps are running 
in the background once they've been opened up. Whether that is the case, I'm not so sure. There isn't much evidence to back that up. But occasionally an app may misbehave. And if you want to close it, then it is the exact same process as closing down any apps that may be working in the background. All we do is go along to settings. Then we go along to applications. Then we want to go down to manage installed applications. And then it's just a case of selecting whatever app that you want to close. For example, maybe it's BBC iPlayer and it is frozen. You just click it and then you click on force stop. And that is it. Delete voice recordings from your device. So every time you ask Alexa to do something, it will then store it on its little memory. Now, if you want her to stop storing it, or if you want her to erase everything that you've said today, or any other day for that matter, you can do that with your voice. Simply ask her to. Delete everything that I've said today. And there you go, it really is that simple. Use your Amazon Fire tablet as a second screen. So, you're on your tablet and you want to watch Jack Ryan, so you just select that. You'll then see here, it'll say watch on, it's not actually highlighted right now, but if I click on that, it gives me some options here. So I want to watch it on Stuart's Second Fire TV, click on that, and then we'll see it displaying on your Fire Stick. Very, very simple. And then if you look at this screen here, you can still use it to scrub forward, live, and also you can cut to scenes. So you can jump to the opening credits if you like. There we go. Just like that. And you can do other things like see cast characters and everything else. Keep your home screen tidy. Now you can remove unwanted apps or even remove apps from the cloud. How you do that is you long press on the house button, go into apps. Now if you've noticed, I've got quite a lot with these little cloud icon on them, or maybe I've got ones that I just don't use anymore. Now if there's something that you want to delete, all you would do is press the option button, which is the button with three lines. And then it's just a case of uninstalling. Or maybe you want to remove something from the cloud, and that's what that little symbol means, the little cloud there. So if you want to get rid of that, you can press the option button again. And you can simply remove from cloud. Or you can just hide all those icons. Now to do that, very simple. Just go into your settings. Then you want to go down to applications. Then you want to go to app store. And then you want to hide cloud apps. From default, that is off. But if you just click it, make sure it's on. And then if we go back, you'll find that now I only show the apps that I've got installed on my device. And if you want to put them back in, all you have to do is reverse that process. Right, so what about that bonus content that I promised you? Well, that's just coming up right now. So, I know a lot of people do not like the navigation sound. Well, you can turn that off, and it's very simple to do. You just go along to settings, then you wanna go down to display and sound, and then it's down in audio. Click on that and navigation sounds by default is on. So if you just click that, it's now off, and now you can browse in complete and utter quietness. <laughs> so there you go, 10 tips for your brand new Amazon 4K Fire Stick or Fire TV. If you liked this video, make sure, leave a big thumbs up, really will appreciate it. And if you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching and Stay frosty.